match. Now, you remember that top-ranking British player we saw in action at the start of the series? Well, now he has an even bigger challenge. He's been knocking the best of British into shape for an all-important showdown. Computer games aren't just for fun. Top professionals across the world can command huge sums of money. From sponsorship deals to big cash prize tournaments, Sujo Roy explains all. We've got 16 of the best players in the world, 8 from America and 8 from Europe, to take part in an uh, in event. It's going to be like the Ryder Cup where we have America versus Europe. You have taken the lead. As a player, this is something that I wanted to see happen, so I've been working to make this happen with LAN Arena and AMD. But unfortunately, as an organiser, it meant I couldn't actually play in the end. We've got literally the best player in the world. That's Jonathan Fatality Wendell. I'm team captain of the uh, United States from Fatality, and uh, we're here to represent USA, and we're going to do it proud. A lot of people who've come second or third to him. Lake Man from Sweden is a guy who's been around for four or five years, always been considered one of the best players in the world. We've got Blokey. He's one of the best players in the UK. He finished sixth in the last big tournament, so you know he's, he's got a big name. Yeah, it's basically an all-star event. I have some neighbors moving from Florida when I was around 13 or so, and they introduced me to Wolfstein 3D, which was uh, one of the first games id Software created. And uh, they introduced me into it, and I had to start playing it and had fun, and ever since then I've been playing basically all my life. Enemy, LG! DPL hosted uh, tournaments down in Dallas, and I found out about one of the tournaments in uh, October of 99, and I went to it and placed third there, where I got $4,000 US. And uh, after that, just it, my career boomed. I mean, I got flown to Sweden, and then I got more tournaments that came along and stuff. And just, it's amazing how much money you can make from playing video games. Two guys railing. I think I totaled around one hundred ten thousand dollars US, like last year. Around I think I won a hundred thousand last year or so. Yeah, RL second level. I mean, I'll figure out how you think, and then I'll counteract that, and just, and I'll beat you. It's kind of, I mean, I use strategies like just outthinking the opponent and stuff, just like in tennis and stuff. You know, you. You hit a long ball, then you fake it, then you're going to hit it real hard, then you hit it real soft or something, you know, it's just, there's a lot of things that go into uh, professional gaming and stuff. Over here we have the trophies for the, the 16 contenders who've come over. Um, basically everyone's going to walk away with something today as a reminder of the event. I think the Europeans are looking strong, they're looking very, very strong. We've had a few upsets, uh, the number one player, Fatality, has gone down, he's lost two games al already. This baby belongs to Europe. Well, I was playing against the best player in the world, and I just won. I gave him a close game, but I don't know. I can't. I can't say too much now. You feel very emotional about it. I'm. I'm pretty excited about this now. Mainly, my role as coach, I've had to just make sure the team's always happy, uh, help organise their that they're going to be four on four. So we have to make two teams of four, split the players up. I've also been training some of the players. The players here are playing for the glory of representing their continent. And especially for the Americans, that means a lot in particular. So after a gruelling day of battling through the weapons and gunfire of Quake, the winners, the European team, and to collect the cup, Captain Duma. Excellent.